Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Captain Rex from the Clone Wars line. Now, this figure is alright, but before we take a closer look at it, let's go ahead and take a look at its packaging. So, here it is. As you can see, it's got the standard Phantom Menace 3D card here on the front. And then whenever you flip it over onto the back, it's got an image of the figure itself, as well as an image of Captain Rex from the Clone Wars here. Then down here on the bottom, it talks about everyone's favorite, the Galactic Battle Game, and then some of the other figures that were released around the same time. And then finally, uh, it does have a brief description of the character. And of course, if you'd like to read that, you could go ahead and just pause the video. Uh, so anyway, pretty standard stuff overall, so let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself. Now, Captain Rex stands at, let's see, uh, right at four inches tall to the top of his antenna. So he's right in scale with all of your other three and three quarter inch action figures. And this guy honestly comes with a ton of accessories. The first ones, of course, are his blaster pistols. He does come with two of them. They're kind of the standard ones that we saw all throughout the Clone Wars line. And these do fit into the holsters on his belt here. Let me see if I can do it on camera. There we go. And they do fit in there uh, nice and snug so that they won't fall out when you're posing the figure. Up next, he comes with this giant um, Gatlin gun or chain gun, whatever, um, that we saw all throughout the Clone Wars. And of course, like all of the other versions, it does have a firing missile which you can launch out of there. This one here must not have had a uh, missile stored in it because this one really fires uh, pretty well. But anyway, pretty, pretty standard stuff here for the Clone Wars. Up next, he does come with a figure stand. This one is in the uh, kind of light tan plastic. And then that does mean, of course, that he comes with his galactic battle die and card. As you can see here, he comes with a black version of the die. And then on the back of the card, it does have his stats, if anyone actually cares. Um, as far as this figure goes, um, I think it looks good. I think they did a nice job of capturing Rex in his phase two armor, uh, but they really dropped the ball on this figure's articulation. Um, from what I understand, there are multiple versions of this, and some of them may be more articulated, uh, but this is the standard release North American one, um, so it's got the more limited articulation. He's got a ball peg in the head, ball hinge shoulders, not the greatest range of motion out, and they do swivel 360. He has hinged elbows with a swivel, no wrist articulation, uh, which is really disappointing. He's got a swivel waist um, and swivel hips, and that's it for this figure. There's no leg articulation at all. So um, this was kind of towards the end of the Clone Wars run. And this is when I think Hasbro really started dropping the ball. Um, you know, this figure I think looks good when displayed. Uh, but honestly, if you want to do any type of poses other than straight up and down with like arms posed and like a, like a shooting pose, you're not really going to get much out of this figure. So I don't necessarily recommend it unless you just absolutely need a version of Clone Wars Rex in, Rex in the Phase 2 armor. So if you have any comments or questions, um, hit me up on my social media. The link for that will be down in the description below. And I guess I'll see you later.